CTV's W5. When I hear A Canadian icon of talent, passion, and song. Celine Dion was a real game changer. She provided the rocket fuel for this city. Struck silent by a rare condition. Appelé en anglais, stiff person syndrome. Um, it is very rare for someone to be fully cured. As millions of fans wait and hope. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. I'm still praying for a miracle. Here is Avery Haynes. Welcome to W5. She is one of the world's best known musicians, and she's suffering from one of the least known medical conditions. Celine Dion has a rare and incurable neurological disease that is threatening to silence the Canadian superstar. W5's French sister station Nouveau delves into the mysterious disorder known as stiff person syndrome and what it means for Celine Dion's future. To understand the void left by Celine's absence, we have to understand the impact that she has had on show business for the past 40 years. I've published articles about her for almost a decade. I followed her during opening nights on Oprah Winfrey show and during tours. I was very close to her and Renee. I had exclusive access into their lives all those years. A year ago, Celine announced terrible news. She was diagnosed with a rare disorder that prevents her from singing. The purpose of this documentary is to clarify some aspects of her absence, which is currently riddled with many false rumors, and also to show the impact of her absence on show business and on the city of Las Vegas, which she has changed forever. Nothing is given to you. You have to work hard, believe in yourself, and have the right tools to succeed. My parents gave their all to raise her, but she became famous worldwide due to her strong work ethic and her natural talent. You won't be able to find someone as good as her. I hear this every day from many people. I work with some of the biggest stars in the world, such as Michael Jackson, Pink Floyd, and the Rolling Stones. Celine, our connection was unique. She was like my little sister. I was the marketing and promotions director for Sony. I often worked with Vita Leprano, who was the artistic director, and with Renee. We usually worked as a team. From the beginning, I realized she was very diligent, meticulous, and a hardworking young woman. So I realized there were no limits, and this was going to be the start of a long and wonderful adventure. We used to provide equipment for concerts, and things started to change tremendously with Celine's arrival. It wasn't arenas that were getting filled, it was stadiums. Celine is someone who is always on people's minds because of her music. She performs songs like My Heart Will Go On, The Power of Love, and various movie soundtracks. She has lots of number one hits and albums that have won Grammy Awards. Three of her albums sold over 30 million copies. This is unheard of. She's the biggest star in the world. Her 1998 world tour was the biggest tour in history. Can she go any higher? It's almost unthinkable. She's almost at the top, but it will happen. Her impact on Las Vegas was significant and most of all, unforgettable. There are numbers to prove it. For example, there was an increase in flights because of Celine Dion. She really made an impact. I noticed that some people in the audience were crying. Others were awestruck as they watched her performance. It always amazed me. A complete evolution happened to the city from the year 2002 onwards. Money came into the city, and the crowds of Las Vegas changed. 
Céline was the reason for all these changes. The public really loved her. People would come just to see her. It was impressive. It was a high-quality performance with style. Everything was synchronized and perfect. Artists used to end their careers in Las Vegas. They were artists approaching their retirement. When Celine first arrived, people were surprised that she was a young artist who sang cool songs. It was a money-making opportunity. Nowadays, if an artist performs in Vegas, it's seen as an accomplishment. I was at her last show in Vegas. The energy of the room was incredible. She was in a really good mood. I'm really happy that I was able to attend her last show. I consider Celine to be the best. What Celine was able to accomplish is record-breaking. She performed 200 shows per year with 4,200 spectators each night and she was able to sell out every performance. That is an incredible feat. Alexa, play Courage by Celine Dion. In 2019, when she made her comeback in 2019 with her album Courage, I think the public was anxious to see if she would succeed since it was the first album that Renee did not help produce. The world tour was announced in April 2019, and the album was launched in September. She will always attract a huge crowd when she announces a tour. In fact, she didn't do many performances in 2019 and 2020, but she had the highest grossing tour of the year. Concerts were sold out everywhere, even though the album wasn't out yet. Bonjour, c'est Céline. Eh bien, j'espère que vous me rejoindrez à Las Vegas pour mon tout nouveau spectacle au Resorts World en novembre prochain. Her return to Vegas made headlines around the world when it was announced because there will always be a link between her and Vegas due to the positive changes she has brought to the city. Everyone was so full of hope. They were finally going to be returning to Vegas to see Celine again. She was going to perform fewer shows compared to her previous tours, but we would still be able to see her on stage. When I watched the trailer for her new show, she looked as healthy as she was at her last concert. She was wearing a long red dress and high heels. It really made you want to go to Vegas to see her on stage. I had wanted to go to her concert, but I had to wait a very long time to get more details before traveling. And at the last minute, we were told that the show was cancelled, as Celine had some health problems. A Canadian icon whose voice has entertained and enchanted millions around the world made an extraordinary revelation today. Parce qu'elle souffre d'un trouble neurologique très rare, une maladie handicapante et douloureuse en raison de spasmes musculaires qui l'empêchent pour l'instant de chanter. Stiff person syndrome. Syndrome de la personne raide. Un neurologique bien hostile. Stiff person syndrome. Récemment, j'ai été diagnostiquée avec un trouble neurologique très rare, appelé en anglais Stiff Person Syndrome. I think Stiff Person Syndrome was one of the most searched terms on Google that day. No one had ever heard of this disorder before. Some people were asking, will she ever sing again? Will she be able to continue with her career? On ne sait pas encore tout de cette maladie rare mais on sait maintenant que c'est la cause des spasmes musculaires dont je souffre. 
Malheureusement, ces espaces m'affectent ma vie de tous les jours, à plusieurs niveaux. Even though we can limit the effects of the disorder with medication, it is very rare for someone to be fully cured. For every million people, one person is diagnosed with this disorder every year. J'ai parfois beaucoup de difficultés à marcher et je ne peux pas toujours utiliser mes cordes vocales pour chanter comme je le souhaiterais. Muscle spasms are painful and prolonged spasms in unusual parts of our body. Everyone has cramps in their calves or arms from time to time after exercising. But these spasms occur in the abdominal, dorsal or even thoracic muscles. These are more painful spasms that occur in uncommon areas of the body. They are spasms that incapacitate people and prevent them from doing anything. When we come back, a rare affliction with a terrible toll. It's a disorder that takes over your life. When W5 continues. I used to fall down frequently. I would do marathons, triathlons, scuba dive, and do many other sports. And I would fall frequently without any explanation. I also noticed that I handled stressful moments differently. I would always become stiff, and my pelvis was becoming more rigid. I would fall, and I didn't understand why. Doctors told me that I was anxious, that I had generalized anxiety disorder, and that I was probably depressed. They also talked about fibromyalgia. They diagnosed me with many disorders, but I wasn't suffering from any of those. It can take a long time before someone is properly diagnosed. It can take up to six years. This is because we don't have an accurate test that diagnoses people. Sometimes we think that the symptoms are caused by something else. So the patients often have to see multiple doctors, such as family doctors or neurologists, in order to be diagnosed accurately. We all have antibodies to fight off infections, viruses and bacteria. And sometimes people with autoimmune diseases will produce antibodies that will attack their own bodies. In the case of stiff person syndrome, the antibodies attack a specific enzyme called glutamic acid decarboxylase. The antibodies will attack this enzyme, which reduces the amount of GABA in the nervous system. This leads to stiff person syndrome. The central nervous system, which means the brain and the spinal cord, constantly sends signals to the nerves and the muscles to prevent them from overexerting themselves. These signals will prevent muscular hyperactivity and muscle contractions. So with stiff person syndrome, the enzymes that lead to the GABA are attacked. When we no longer have GABA, the central nervous system has problems preventing these muscle spasms. So we have more muscle contractions, more stiffness, and more spasms. When we raise or extend our arm, a group of muscles has to activate while another group relaxes or else there would be no movement. The agonist and antagonist muscles mustn't contract at the same time. However, this is what happens to people with stiff person syndrome. Ça m'attriste énormément de, de voir vous dire aujourd'hui que je ne serai pas prête à recommencer ma tournée en Europe en février. We can imagine that Celine's thoracic muscles are becoming more rigid. Yet her career is singing. She has to use her vocal cords and her thoracic muscles to regulate the quantity of air passing through the vocal cords in order to sing a song. When you can no longer do this, when you're no longer able to control your muscles and the quantity of air passing through your vocal cords. It must be very hard to sing for long periods of time like she does.
It's a disorder that takes over your life. Everything becomes stressful. When I leave my home and I hear abrupt sounds or a friend calling out to me, it becomes a stressful moment and I may fall down. You become rigid in an instant. What's unfortunate is you're so stiff that you can't stop yourself from falling. So you fall directly on your back. It's quite traumatizing because you feel yourself falling, but you can't hold on to anything. So after falling multiple times, like I have, I think I've had eight major falls, one that I was hospitalized for. You become anxious, even though I'm usually not an anxious person, but it's inevitable. So I take a lot of precautions when I leave my house and I avoid certain situations to not put myself in danger. This disorder can also affect the brain because it attacks the muscles through the central nervous system. So certain patients suffer from an increased level of anxiety. Some patients are able to go back to work, but most of them are unable to do that, even if their symptoms become manageable. However, they are able to take care of themselves without any problem. Aussi, je m'entraîne tous les jours avec mon thérapeute en médecine sportive, bravo, pour regagner de la force et de l'endurance pour permettre, pour me permettre de performer à nouveau. Courageuse. She's brave. Mais je dois admettre que c'est un combat continuel. Totalement. Absolutely. It's like hearing my own thoughts. Our stories are so similar. We go from living an exciting life to a life of isolation. Everything she said is true. She explains the disorder very well. You live a very isolated life. But what helps us the most are the people that know about our illness and still keep in touch to encourage us. That really helps a lot. We feel less isolated. Maybe this disorder will become more well-known, which is a good thing. She will probably have access to different treatments than I've received, which will help us find the right treatment. I'm still worried for her. I send her all my sympathy and admiration for fighting like this. Coming up... Celine was in the prime of her career. She was an international mega superstar. Taking Vegas by storm, twice. That made a big impression on this city. When W5 continues.